Hey guys, today we're going to be installing the extended action release lever for the Mossberg 500. Now if you aren't familiar with this product, basically when you have a pistol grip on your shotgun, you can't reach the action release lever without changing your position in your hand. You can't just reach it from shooting position. And this product is going to solve that. Now they do make three of these and these are from show10armory.com and there's a short one and there's a longer one and then there's a longer one that has an angle on it okay but for this video we're gonna take the straight long one and we're gonna put that one on alright so for me I have the ATI uh, stock here so I need to pull it off with the Torx wrench and yours is may vary but you need to pull this off okay just like that put that aside put that aside and we'll punch the pin out and actually before I do that um, I should probably make sure we're safe which I know we are but nothing in the chamber nothing in the magazine tube okay Now we'll push the pin out, and real quick, for this installation, I, I like to pull the trigger before disassembling the shotgun. If you don't, I'll show you what you're going to need to do. That's just a habit of mine. Okay, let's pull the housing out here. Pull the cartridge stop and cartridge inter interrupter out. Put those aside. Put the shotgun aside, we won't need that for right now. Okay, so when you pull the trigger before disassembling the shotgun, this the hammer is going to be up like this. If you don't pull the trigger before disassembling it, it's going to be down. But because we're going to be pulling this apart, you need to pull the trigger and make sure the hammer's up. So make sure it doesn't just fly forward. You want to hold it, pull the trigger, and let it come up slowly. All right? Now, we're going to be pulling three pins out, one here, one here, and one here. And first, you want to pull the hammer pin out. Okay, now, you want to kind of hold on to the top here and make sure nothing flies out when you do it. So, we'll push that out. All right. There's the pin. Put that there. Now, there's only two pieces that come out here the hammer like this and this bar right here and you need to remember which way this goes because it has a little notch in it so the notch faces downwards okay and also when I'm doing this I like to keep the parts that go with each pin together okay so we'll put these together set them over here okay and now we're gonna pull the trigger pin out and same thing, you want to hold on to the top because these will kind of want to fly out on you. So we're going to push that out. All right. There we go. Whoops. There's that one. We'll put that right there. And like I said, they're going to pop up a little bit. Okay. Now what I like to do is kind of separate these two right here, if I can. Let's see there we go pull that out and I'll show you again how this goes but it goes like this keep this part down and towards the front I'll show you that again on the, when we put it back together and then you need to remember how this goes this is uh, for the safety and I know it's kind of corny but the easiest way for me to remember because it has this angle on it is I kind of imagine it as like a ramp. And is it, if you were going to jump over the trigger housing, you need the ramp obviously facing this direction. So you go like that. I know it's stupid, but that's how I remember. And also on the trigger, there's a spring in the back of here. You can see it right in there. That is just kind of sitting in the trigger and you don't want that to go flying on you. And you need to get it past this uh, part right here. 
right in there. Okay. So let's I'll keep it close here. And it might pop out on you. I've had the that thing pop out on me a few times. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh, we got it. All right, so there's that spring right there. And yeah, it's just sitting in there. So don't lose that thing. And that goes with this group. And also there's um, a spring here that just kind of slides out like that. And I just kind of slide it out and turn it upside down and it'll pop out like that. All right, and this goes in here like this. So put that there. Okay, so now is the last pin, which actually holds the uh, action release lever in. Now this one definitely you want to keep your fingers over the top because there's springs and stuff and they're going to want to fly out of there. So keep your fingers over the top and push this out. And this is, just so you know, this is the longer pin. You can see it's sticking out over here and a little bit over here. So kind of remember how that's sitting. And we'll push those out. Okay. Let's get that. There we go. Put that over here. Now, this spring right here just kind of pulls out. Okay. And then this other spring is most likely just going to fall off and sit inside there. That's what happens to me most of the time. So, pull it off. Okay, well, it actually stuck this time. Oh, there it goes. All right, well, there's the lever. Let's turn this over and get that spring out of there. All right. And there's that spring. And then we're ready to put it all together. And that's the hard part. So, we'll change out the original... Um, lever for this other one and before you put this stuff together and I've already done it on this one so I'm going to use let's see this one as an example but these come with a uh, coating on them that kind of makes the hole a little oh, actually huh, that one actually fits fine but whoops, with uh, with this one it wouldn't quite fit in there it was just very very close but honestly what I did is I just got it in there it would stick in there just a little bit and then I literally just put it onto the table and took my uh, clock armory tool or punch and just uh, you know kind of hit it right there and it just popped right through and now it's it's fine now all right so make sure and do that before trying to put it together because if you don't you're gonna wonder like why is it not going through there all right so don't forget to do that. Okay, so this part is the hardest part in putting everything back together. First, you're gonna take this little tiny, whoop, geez, don't lose the thing. This little tiny spring here, and what I like to do is put this hook right here over the top, and this other side goes underneath like this right where this bend is because it fits in really easy right there all right now you kind of want this bottom bar right where this angle is right here so just kind of push it up a little bit so it's right about like that well actually it could come back a little bit more this doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect i mean you're going to mess around with it once you get it in there but the thing you definitely want is see how the, you know, the hook came off the top. You want it over the top there. And that's why I say put it on the top, whoops, down here. And then you can kind of slide it up a little bit. Come on, focus. All right, there we go. Right about, right about like that. That's how you want it right there. Okay, so hold it there. And I know the holes aren't lined up. What you're going to do is... You're going to put it in and then get this pin just inside that spring and then press the lever down and then get the pin through the hole in the uh, lever. Okay. And this is definitely the hardest part. 
this and the other spring. So anyway, let's finagle this thing in there. Okay, like this. There we go. And now we're gonna get the hole lined up for the spring, which it is right now. And just get this in there enough to hold that spring in place. Just like that. And I know I can't really get this on camera for you guys, but I hope you understand what's going on. Okay, now, you wanna make sure this lever is all the way down and on the side of this, okay? So push it down like this, so that's on the side right there, okay? Now, you can see that it's kind of sticking out a little bit right here. And you want these to be about even. So push it back so it's about even. And I've had this stick way out when I've done it before and just push it in hard and make it line up like that, okay? That way, the pin will find that hole. And actually, there we go, all right. There we go. And I know I made it easy, or make it made it look easy. This is actually really hard. It took me several times to figure out how to do this correctly. Be patient. If you get frustrated, walk away for a second, you know? Okay, so here's the other hard part. Just getting this spring in there. Now, you can see that there's a gap right here in the side. And you want, or actually, <laughs> Real quick, I should have talked about the sear before I did that, but that's okay. The sear is actually um, this thing way down in here, and it's on a spring. Let me show you real quick. All right, let's see. Right here. Okay. Now you can see that it's down, and a lot of people say to put it up before you do this, and actually I've found that it's a lot easier if you put it up afterwards, and I'll, I'll give you an example of that right now. See how that is, it's kind of hard to understand, but it's down right now, and I'm going to push it up, I'll try to show you. Okay, I know that wasn't very good, but see how uh, it's up now, right here? So you can actually push it up afterwards, and I actually like to get both springs in first before doing that, but I wanted to show you that r really quick. So anyway, back to this. And it's probably gonna pop down again, so I'll probably pop it in again. Okay, so you definitely wanna get the pin just even with that wall on the inside here all right and okay back to this the hole on the side you want this hook to go in there right here and all the way forward okay just like that and before i put this in there's actually a little tiny notch right here if you can see it sticking out okay and this part of the spring needs to go around that and the way you do that is you put this in the side in first just like that okay oops didn't stick just like this okay so now we've got it like so and this is sticking in the side there now this needs to be squeezed together so that they'll go down inside okay so push them oops slipped out there okay so get the hook in there just like that and I did this so much better last time I did this okay now you need to push the side in like that there we go see now it's in there okay now you need to go down and push that thing the the spring over that little tiny notch, all right? And I really am not gonna be able to do this, you know, right in front of the camera. <clears throat> what I like to do is put my thumb over the top of the two springs so the thing doesn't go flying out, which happened to me a lot, and then go down with uh, my poker 
and push the spring onto that notch, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so there we go. Where's my light? So, you can see down in there that that spring is now hooked. See that? At the very bottom there? Alright. Here. I know it's very hard to see, but you can see that it's hooked on there at the very bottom. Alright? Now, hopefully, you should be able to push these down and get it, the uh, pin through now. Just like this. Okay? So we've got the pin through the one side. Uh oh, oh, see there goes the, the sear. <laughs> Don't worry about that. And what happens is this pin kind of tilts upwards like this. So you need to kind of push it up over here and then push it in. All right, oops. Okay, there we go. Get it through. Make sure, push this down. This actually helps too if you push this down. And let's see. Needs to go just like that. Okay. So there we go. Get it just how it was before, sticking out over here a little bit, and sticking out over there a little bit. And now you can see that the sear dropped down again, right here. And you just go under it and pull it up. There. Okay. See it now? It's stuck. And what holds it is the spring right here. I'm not focusing here. There we go. See the spring right here holds it up. Okay. Like I said, I find it a lot easier to just to push it up after you get this piece in. All right. So on to the next one. Okay. So the next one, there's a hole down in the bottom there. It's kind of hard to see. Right down in there, you can see the hole. And the spring, this spring, goes down in there. And what I like to do is just get it, you know, on the very edge of it, and then just kind of drop the thing in like that. And it should drop right in. Right there. Okay. So now, we need to get the trigger in. Just like this. Same thing, you need to get this spring past that other spring. which is kind of a pain in the neck. And you just push it down, just like this. Okay. Is it gonna pop out of there? Yeah, it popped out of there. All right. See, the spring popped out of there. Let's get it back in. And this spring's kind of sticking out. Okay. So, get it down in there like so okay there we go got it past there and the spring's still there that's good okay so you want to keep it up about like this and we'll get our uh, jump here remember vroom. so we'll stick it like this okay get that in there and you want this front side up and this back side down like this and make sure they fit together. See this, the trigger kind of slips in right here. Oops. Like that. Okay. So keep them together about like this. Turn it around. Now this piece actually hooks into the sear right here. See the sear is actually right behind here and there's a hole that this little notch slips into. So you put that in there. Okay. And then you got to push the trigger this way a bit and this this way a bit because this little notch goes in the hole on the trigger. Just like that. Okay. So now we've got all that together. And the easiest way that I found to get this lined up is just to literally pull the trigger back all, all the way like that 
and then we'll get this in there. And this is a real pain in the neck. A lot of times what I'll do is turn it over and put the pin on the table and just press down and kind of move stuff around a bit until it fits, just like that. All right, so now we're good. Get that in there. Okay, that's good. We'll make sure everything works. Pull the trigger, this lifts up, this moves forward. Okay, and one last thing, this spring right here that's sticking up right there needs to get pushed down and underneath this bar, just like that. All right, don't forget that. So now we're good to go. Okay, last one guys. So don't forget, this little notch fits down and it goes in the hammer here just like this. There's a little bar on the inside that these go around, okay? And then this goes into that spring with the uh, cup on the end down in here, okay? There we go. And this needs to be angled quite a bit forward to fit in. Let's see, everything good still? Yeah. All right. There we go, get the hole just about lined up there. And this is under tension, so you need to hold this down like so. Grab the pin. And with this, I actually like to do the same thing we did with the uh, trigger pin. Turn it upside down, stick it on a table, pressure on it, and then just kind of wiggle stuff around until it fits. We got it yet? Just about. Okay, there we go. All right. So we're gonna stick push this in on the way there and there we go we got it now before you put this back in the shotgun what you want to do is test it so we're gonna lock the hammer back pull it forward and there should actually be a half cock here right there that's good pull it down when the hammer is cocked the action release lever is uh, workable when it's up it's not okay so that's good and then we're good to go so let's get it back in the shotgun and there's one more thing I want to talk about real quick okay so cartridge stop cartridge interrupter get those in there do this real quick there we go this in here. There we go. All right. Ow. Pinched myself a little bit there. Okay. This isn't fitting. There we go. All right. Give me a little hard time there. All right. There we go. Okay. We'll get that pin in. This is because uh, the stock has a piece right here. It really makes the trigger group tight. It's kind of hard to move around in there. Jeez. Oh, crap. All right. There we go. All right, so that's in there. Now, real quick, this, because of the way my stock attaches, there goes a the little screw, but the way we, my stock attaches is it slides up like this okay and because of that this was a little bit too close to allow the stock to slide past it and honestly what I did is I just took two wrenches took one here to hold it then I took one here and I just bent I just bent it up a little bit all right 
not that big of a deal. And now I can put the stock on just like this. Uh, I'm gonna eat my own words here. Okay, there we go. Let's get the screw on there. Let's take a look at it. Now, from shooting position, I don't even have to think about it. Look at that, it's right there. Honestly guys, this thing's awesome. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am gonna upload a, like an overview video and talk about this a little bit more, and I'll show the other ones. But uh, I hope you liked the installation. I, I sure hope it helped you guys out. And uh, be safe, happy shooting.